All right, all right, all right. Guru here. What you are looking at is the barrier dam on the North Fork, Sandy Am. Um, that was a little bit of a challenge here. Let me get up. I kind of knew about the boat slide. Let me see if I can get in a different part of the boat. And I'll zoom in. There's the boat slide there. You gotta be real careful when you come. Right? Oh, about where my finger is. From that side over. Now the guy, Bob, who does the shuttles here, he told me to go down the left channel. But the boat slide's actually on the right side. So keep that in mind. There's a big stainless steel rod you can wrap your rope around. And then I got it down pretty easy. Of course, it's summertime lows. So I just got out of the boat and walked it down through that little bit of rocks that you see right there. Uh, just walked it right through there. Uh, it's pretty easy, you know. Uh, I got the HMUW bottom on mine, so it slides across the rocks real easy. But so far, um, I've seen some Chinook. There was a couple holes right below Mahama that had Chinook rolling in it, but I couldn't get nothing to bite. But man, oh man, have I caught some beautiful rainbow trout. I mean, hogs. That first video I did this morning that was about a minute and a half long, that fish was probably two to two and a half pounds. And I've caught three others just like it. I mean, just some hog trout. And they're all biting on sand shrimp and a jig. And basically I'm just running a, a pink worm. It's actually a Mad River worm, paddle tail, four inch and uh, just tipping it with a jig, but this is the hole I'm gonna fish now. I'm actually not too far from Staten, so I only have maybe, I don't know, another mile or so. Well, actually, probably about a mile and a half, but um, I've seen Chinooks, they're in here. Uh, you know, they were in a couple of those bigger, deeper holes up there, but so far, uh, not a whole lot. Um, I was hoping I was gonna see something go up that fish ladder, but I tried to get my boat over there. The fish ladder's right on that side, but I couldn't, oh, there's some some white water rafters. They were behind me, they're just now coming down. But yeah, that was that was quite the, the trip. Not as bad as I thought, but not as easy as everybody makes it sound. <laughs> but it was still pretty cool. But um, so far, no steelhead, no schnooks, bunch of big trophy trout on the rivers. Beautiful, man. I mean, look at this water. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And um, just having a good day. It's about three o'clock on Saturday, 4th of July weekend. Hopefully these guys are smart. I doubt they brought a rope, but they got inflatables. They can, oh, I see a, Oh, that's a canoe. Oh, yeah. This might get real interesting real fast. But they all got life jackets on and stuff, so it looks like they know what they're doing. So I'm not going to worry too much about it. But, uh, yeah, we're going to fish our way out. Hopefully, uh, I didn't keep any of those big trout. Uh, I let them all go. So um, I'm after a steelhead or a, a schnook. Let someone else have some, some fun with the big bad trouts. They were sure some nice trout though, man. I mean, real nice. Boy, that rock down there just looks juicy. Definitely gonna run a sand shrimp through there, but uh, um, throwing some new prototype spinners. Um, that's why I got two of those big trout on, and then one on sand shrimp, and then a handful of others on, like some, two other smaller ones, probably like 12 inches sand shrimp not that a 12 inch is small but compared to those first three I got good lord but uh, it's a little windy today but not bad it's real beautiful here I love this water it's just super cold still too this is all runoff so I mean it's coming out of the dam up there oh yeah there's a big old group of them so I'm gonna beat feet before they start coming down and disturbing my water not that I'm not unwilling to share my my river with the 
the whitewater folks. They have just as much right to the river as I do, but they're brightly colored boats, spook fish. But you know what, that's okay. They're having a good time. We're all having a good time. So that being said, hey man, tight lines. There's your North Fork Sandy M update. Hopefully this works for everyone. And uh, you know, if you can find a bigger, deeper hole somewhere upstream, that's what I would do. Um, you know, there was a lot of river that I floated that was just frog water or spinner water. Probably get some really nice trout in there, but I was mainly just fishing the, the bigger, deeper holes. So I'm hoping that I'm gonna get into some fish below here, now that I'm below in it. Because the a little white birdie told me that they were stacking up down low here. So uh, hopefully the little white birdie tells you, and don't tell anyone that the little white birdie told you. <laughs> all right, man. Hey, thanks for all your support. Thanks to all my new subscribers. Tight lines. God bless. Guru out.